Tonight, police search for more victims of the alleged shopping cart serial killer. A man police believe transports the bodies of his victims in a shopping cart after killing them. We received a tip, a critical tip, that our person of interest may be linked to another case where a woman was found deceased in a shopping cart in Washington, D.C. That person of interest, Anthony Eugene Robinson, a 35-year-old D.C. resident already charged with two counts of first-degree murder and two counts of concealing dead bodies. Robinson, arrested in November, is being held in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Police suspect Robinson is that serial killer. He's called the shopping cart killer because uh, after he inflicts trauma to his victims and kills them, he transports their bodies to their final resting place, literally in a shopping cart. Robinson's alleged victims, Aline Beth Redman, 54, and Tanita Larie Smith, 39, according to police, who also say the women's bodies were discovered in a commercial area of Harrisonburg. Now officials worry there could be more. This is based on digital evidence that puts him in the same vicinity around the time of the victim's disappearance. A fifth body found in Washington, D.C. in a shopping cart covered by a blanket. The Metropolitan Police Department is investigating that case. This is Fairfax County PD also suspect Robinson to be involved in the deaths of two other women, Stephanie Harrison, 48, and Cheyenne Brown, 29, possible third and fourth victims. Their bodies found in a container in Alexandria, Virginia, near the Moon Inn Hotel, according to a police report. Nearby that container, a shopping cart. It is believed that Robinson used the Plenty of Fish dating app to lure his victims. Robinson met Brown on one of those platforms, according to police. Brown, pregnant and a mother of a seven-year-old, went missing in September. Her family and others now speaking out. None of these families, my family, none of, none of these families deserve to go through this. You know, not only, you know, is my daughter gone like, you know, like he took the life of my unborn grandchild. Robinson's attorney declined to comment on the charges, allegations, or, quote, pending matters, and he says no pleas have been filed yet. In a statement, the dating app Plenty of Fish said they are, quote, deeply saddened to hear of the victims in this horrific case and that they will fully cooperate with the investigation. As questions remain, police ask that any survivors or individuals with information on Robinson contact law enforcement immediately. At least 35 other regional law enforcement agencies have been contacted to determine if any other missing persons cases may be linked to the alleged shopping cart killer. This case is not about shopping carts. It's about a serial killer who took the lives of innocent women. Zinclair Samoa, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.